We just won an election and went kind of viral. My name is Rosemary Ketchum and last week we won an election here in Wheeling, West Virginia. I was elected as the first openly transgender person in the entire history of the state of West Virginia. And while our campaign was focused on potholes and stray cats and trash pickups, among other things, we gained some pretty heavy media attention, for which I'm super grateful. We made it on CNN, MSNBC, uh, People Magazine, Time.com wrote an article about us. It was truly overwhelming, but I think in the best way possible. In the meantime, my Twitter has blown up, my Instagram is on fire. It feels pretty wild, but in a good way. And unfortunately, West Virginia isn't always cast in the most flattering light. Sometimes fairly, most times not. But we are trying to change that. Running for office has never been in the plan for me. I've been a community organizer for years in the state of West Virginia. And I kind of loved the idea of being scrappy and underdog and kind of sticking it to the man. I advocated for issues around menstrual equity and campaign finance reform, LGBTQ equality and SNAP benefits, among other things. But while community organizing, I realized that often the biggest obstacle in our way were the elected officials. So not long after realizing that, I decided I ought to run. When I was a kid, I really wanted to be a journalist. I saw folks like Ann Curry and Diane Sawyer. I was so inspired by their intelligence and their grace and their compassion. Honestly, it was all I ever wanted to do. And then I realized that the job of a journalist is to be very unbiased in, the, in, in your ability to report. And I don't have that kind of willpower, I've learned. I then realized that maybe being a journalist was not the best option for me but I never really thought there was a space for me in politics. You know, growing up in poverty gives you a distorted view of what you think is possible for yourself. And truthfully, my lived experience had all but ruled out anything having to do with politics before I had the chance to really consider it. But here we are, we won and now we get to work. In my city, I wanna to fight to support and protect the most vulnerable folks in my community, helping rebuild our city from the grassroots up. Our work across the nation to dismantle and reform systemically racist institutions, to provide access to universal and unconditional mental health care, and to improve the trust between our communities and our government that starts here, in small towns across America. City councils and your mayors and your state leaders and your community organizers. It won't be easy, but it will be well worth it. Organize in your town, demand answers from your elected officials, and if that doesn't work, run for office. You might just find that it's easier to replace them than to convince them, and a whole hell of a lot more fun. Have a great day.